with just a little bit of sass. Hi, Wordaholics. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a wardrobe Wednesday. And actually, today is the first day in a long, long time that I got bringing back the Stitch Fix box because I've been so MIA with the Stitch Fix box. This is the first time in a while that I got a Stitch Fix box. Um, I did get one last month. However, when I recorded the video, the audio was out of whack and it was just a struggle to edit that video. So unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to do that or upload that video last year. So I'm sorry for that. But this year we did get our Stitch Fix. You didn't know Stitch Fix is a subscription box and a stylist gets to choose what you like um, based on a quiz and you pay $20 for the styling fee and it goes towards anything that you, um, the $20 will go to towards anything in the box that you keep. And if you don't like the things that you got in the box, um, there is a return label and a return bag and um, it is super easy to um, just return the product if you don't want to keep it. Yeah, so we're going to go into my Stitch Fix for January 2020, the beginning of the year, and I will be doing this every single month. So let's see what I do get to keep and what I'm going to be returning. So let's get into this video. Okay, so let's open it. So this is the box in all its glory. It's packaged really nicely. And they always, always do this. It's always packaged so nicely. Don't know how they do it. But um, they come with the return label and paid for. There was a company that my mom got a jewelry subscription from. And it was super hard. It I know it was a smaller jewelry company however the return policy and the cancellation was so terrible i had to pay for well my mom had to pay for her own shipping label return label so the fact that they give this to you and you only pay twenty dollars is crazy because i had to pay a seven dollar return label and you don't see that money back you don't get to keep the items you send it back and it's just a waste, a waste of money. So if you're trying to open up a, um, like a small business type of deal and you want to do a subscription, um, anything, make sure you are thinking about the customers and pay for that return, um, shipping label, whatever return product in your website and everything will go very, very smoothly. Okay, so that's my rant for the day. So the first thing that I see is polka dots. I am not the one to gravitate towards polka dots, but I will take a look at this item. And it is, oh, it's gray with black polka dots. That is super cute. Something that I would not gravitate towards, but it does look super cute and cozy. So this is absolutely creative worldwide new york in a 1x this is called the markle crew neck pullover in dark gray so these would look good i can already tell that i could wear this with leggings i can wear this with jeans um it's and it's not heavy so that i can wear this like those in between months like winter to spring those type of months or even summer to to fall those type of months I could wear pull this bad boy out and be super warm but yet not too toasty because if you are a chunkier girl you know you get toasty really quickly so this next item is by 41 Hawthorne mix by 41 Hawthorne this is the Brie knit cardigan in the color olive Olive is usually, like, I see olive color as my mom's staple color because she loves green. Um, but I will give this a shot. 
it's a cardigan and so like I said this fabric is super soft but it's like super breathable but yet keeps you warm and that's something that I need so there's the cardigan and I've I've um, kept like kimonos and stuff from Stitch Fix before so I really love that I love getting new cardigans and stuff this is this says sassy oh my god this is super cute oh my god they did such a good job um i'm usually like a casual person um with just a little bit of sass so i i don't know i would have a hard time saying no to this one this is august mist in josephina hachi graphic knit pullover in dark gray it's a 1x and again it's one of those things where you could just pair some leggings and or a jean and it it'd be good to go so and this one's super super soft it's more it's a a lot softer than the other first two. Oh my god and it's getting softer guys oh my god this is bring out the beige and it's super soft and it's like that's soft that's not itchy oh i love i'm in love it's gonna say oh it's gonna be say oh it's gonna be so hard to say no oh my god so this is the rd style quan heathered v-neck pullover in the color beige she got me the stylist who who is she how does she know no but um this is super cute and it has like a low v oh my god i can't believe i can't wait to try this on so this is like a bunch of sweaters and in a bunch of like different colors <sighs> and they all need to be in my closet i think i don't know we'll see remember we got a budget um so this is a sweater and this is in the mustard color, which honestly would match really well with my make that's going on right now. But um, out of all of those, this is the least um, cozy. It's kind of that really um, rough, not too rough, but it's it does have some roughness to the sweater texture. So it's not that cozy but as you can see it's super cute so this is the leo and nicole vedens cable knit pullover in the colored mustard and all of these are in the in the one x and i guess that is it for this box yeah so that's it for that this box okay so let's try these pieces Okay, so this is the mustard, the mustard um, sweater, and basically it is just a normal sweater. <laughs> um, it is a little bit rough. Like I said, this was one of my um, not so favorite. Um, yeah, this is one of the ones that is not my favorite, but it is a different color than I'm used to. I do want to add color into my wardrobe rather than just your typical blacks and whites but honestly and I'm oh yeah and I'm pairing it up with my uh, pretty little things leggings with all of these so I'm just gonna be wearing leggings something that I you would normally wear with something like this or I would be wearing you know jeans or something like that it is cozy but I just don't think the style is for me to be quite honest i did try something like this that was a sweater dress in my um video i think last year or the year before that and i didn't get it because of the material so it's kind of on the itchier side um but the detail on it is super pretty so if that's your jam definitely take a look at it um it has that like very knitted pattern and just super cute it covers the apron so if you're like worried about that if you have um like 
like a ballet, <laughs> a apron or a little belly, like an apple shape like me, um, just know that you are covered. So if you're looking for a cozy sweater, this is a good one. Um, however, this might not be for me. So let me just give you a twirl. This fabric is the super soft one and it is a beige and it's not your typical beige. It has like that sweatery type vibe where it's like faded and then, um, but it's super cute. It has like beige and um, tan pieces, which give it a really different vibe. It is a V-neck, which I can appreciate because necklaces like this, like dainty necklaces are my jam. So sometimes some um, shirts that are not V-neck does cut off the um, my my necklaces that I wear and I wear dainty jewelry usually and sometimes I wear um sorry guys and sometimes I wear statement pieces and a v-neck is just the way to go it it's just a really good um sweater it is not hot or itchy at all so if you're looking at this sweater it's super cool um, there is slits on the side so that it doesn't hug the belly and it kind of let it, it lets that area flow out a little bit more. So I don't know if you could see that. If you could see it kind of let, like flows instead of hugs the belly area, which gives it a nice touch of kind of an illusion that you don't have a big belly, but we all know we, I do <laughs> so this is a i don't know this might be a yes for me guys oh twirl okay now for the sassy sweater this is a sweater that is speaking to my soul i love graphic anything graphic tees are my jam the last item that i picked from stitch fix i did pick an item from Stitch Fix from December, and it was a V-neck t-shirt that said happy on it, and this one says sassy, so I feel like I want to keep this one no matter what the price is for this one, um, just because I love a good graphic t-shirt or a graphic design, and I love the font on this. This is really cute. Um, and it just goes with anything. Like I could pair a skirt with this. I could pair jeans with this. And I think I could make this a look. I don't think that's a stain. Okay. Okay, so this next item is a real cozy. And it's actually cooling to the touch compared to the other sweaters. This has like, it feels cool to the touch but it's not it covers you up but it's not um gonna make you hot at all and I love that type of fabric it's like easy breezy I love it so this is in the olive green it is a cardigan it's that easy breezy um type of fabric and I just I'm just in love with this fabric I'm in love with all the pieces because I do need some cozier pieces in my wardrobe. Um, this is going to be hard to say no to, so this might end up being one that I keep. I love the shape of it. As you guys know, I have a lot of cardigans and jackets, um, but this is going to be definitely one that is going to be harder to say no to because I love the fabric. It's super soft um, and it's super breathable, which is really, really good going into the months of um when it becomes spring so that you could still wear a cardigan and still be cool like still be covered up but still um have a sense of comfort so this is definitely speaking to my soul and the stylist that i got was ruby so shout out to ruby and it actually doesn't go down too far i always have a problem with my cardigans and sweatshirts going way too far down to my knee because I am four foot 11. Um, so 
I, I'm just feeling this. I'm feeling it. Okay, one, and this is also something that I would not pick out myself because, let's be honest, I, I don't really do polka dots. Like, my robe, I got really good compliments on my robe, and my robe was actually picked out by my mother-in-law, so shout out to her. Don't know where she got that robe from. But yeah, I don't no normally pick polka dots. Um in my wardrobe like I'll do cheetah print leopard print type type of dealio but not like total dots so this is um really thin as well it's kind of same same concept as the cardigan it's really flowy but yet it's still um like it's breathable but still keeps you warm and then the bottom situation is the same it has that like sweater vibe on the bottom here. It has like, um, what is this called? Like a kind of like something that actually cinches at that point, which is not bad. Um, I would have to say that it is cute, but this is definitely not my style. So let's go ahead and tally up. Okay, so I totaled up the two pieces that I really, really enjoyed and really liked. And I know I'm going to get use out of the olive green cardigan and the sassy sweater. And that will come with the minus the $20 styling fee. Um, it is going to come down to $62 for the things that I'm going to be keeping. Everything else is going to be set via um priority mail back to stitch fix and i really enjoyed this video i hope you guys did too please let me know in the comments down below which item you really liked and i will see you guys in my next video like always stay affordable Bye.